Now, for ocean lovers, going underwater might be very appealing, but we can't always jump in. So when we're, you know, stuck on land, there's a new tool that can take us into the underwater world. In today's Earth 8 report, we're showing you the latest live technology on the Scripps Pier. Here at La Jolla Shores, your eye is not only drawn to the waves, but probably to the Scripps Pier that jets out over the ocean. While everything above water can be captivating, what's going on underwater is just as important and beautiful. And now anyone with internet can get a glimpse, thanks to the live stream of a high-definition camera set up on one of the pilings of the pier. Some resident lobster that are hanging out over here on the right side, which is a lot of fun to see. And then we've even seen a resident octopus come out now and then. Melissa Carter is the manager of the Shore Stations program at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography. She's been here collecting data for about 25 years and just a few weeks ago she helped make this camera happen. Placing it about 12 to 15 feet deep depending on the tide on the south side of the pier facing the shore. The number of pilings that you see and this is written in our website tells you uh, how far of the visibility that you'll actually see. So on a very clear day you might see three to four pilings and that would show about 15 feet of visibility. We wanted to give divers a look under the ocean so they could determine whether or not uh, it was a good time to dive. And after only a couple weeks of going live it has already captured some incredible and rare species. At least my favorite that I've seen so far is a giant sea bass. It looks like it swam up. It knew where the camera was, swam up to it to say hi. We've also seen leopard sharks. We've seen birds swimming down to get fish. Birds like cormorants can dive deeper than expected. You might also catch Melissa herself or other members of her team as they scuba and free dive to keep the camera clean. Yes, it is a lot of fun to watch and maybe a slight distraction from the day to day, but there is a serious side to all of this. I run the longest continuous temperature and salinity time series uh, in the Pacific Ocean. Every day, someone manually takes a sample of the water off the Scripps Pier and checks its temperature and salinity. That's been going on since 1916. The hope is now with this new camera in place, there's another way to keep eyes on the ocean. Like many of the tools and technology on the pier, Melissa is requesting for grant funding to keep record of what this camera discovers. That's trying to better understand the role that nutrients, uh, warming and all of those things play into our water quality and our ocean's health. The camera was donated by a Scripps graduate. The owner of Deep Sea Power and Light equips things like robots with cameras that can capture deep ocean images. And now, 40 years after graduating, his work is something we can all learn from, hopefully for generations to come. How fascinating it's is so that? It's so fun to like watch that camera. There's <laughs> a sea bass coming right up there to the camera. <laughs> what is this thing? Uh, you can view that for yourself anytime <laughs> during the daylight hours. Uh, we have a link to that. Go to CBS8.com. Click on the link to this story. You'll see it. Um, I will say I learned how to scuba dive at La Jolla Shores. Yeah. So knowing if it's murky or not right, is really right. important for diving. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to dive and go wave to the camera, but she said, please don't <laughs> for everyone out there uh, because it's not the safest place to go yeah, diving. There's sure. the pilings, the pier, the waves can, you know, kind right, of mess right, you up. Right. So we you want, want to see it. the creatures kind of right. showing up there. And ducks even. Du uh, the birds that were oh, going awesome. so deep. I mean, who knew they went 12 feet deep now to get Now we know. Fish? Thanks to that camera. Yeah, it's cool Pretty stuff impressive. they're finding. And there's a lot of uh, technology on that pier, of course, yeah. that they want the public to stay away from. Think about how data <laughs> yeah. of 25 years I she's know. seen. Mm -hmm. That's impressive stuff it's she's seen. Very important. Learning a lot. Yeah.